Hello, this is Bern, and if you'd like to understand how available the man that you're into is, well, stick around because I'm going to share with you today six different stages of availability in single men. Stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered, and successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams and attract the kind of man you want without gimmicks, without manipulation, without crazy strategies, and as a result of stepping into the most alive, most feminine version of you. I hear the phrase, I don't know if he's available or he's not available, and I want to clarify that those are broad terms but not all unavailable men or all available men are in the same category. And I want to give you stronger vocabulary so that you don't have to waste your time unnecessarily step, stepping into a dating relationship with a guy who doesn't have it in him to move forward and commit. Provided that you're looking for long-term commitment, lifelong partnership, best friendship with a man who also happens to be your lover, well, this is why it's important. First level of availability in a single man would be a man who is ready and able to step into long-term, lifelong commitment. He has the will and he has the skills and he has the capacity to step in to find that woman he wants to connect with, connect with her, grow in friendship, grow in commitment, grow in passion, and then say, I'm in. No further explanations needed. That's typically what most women who want long-term are looking for. Now, there's a step underneath that that is powerful, but not as powerful as, it one, as that one. And it's important for you to understand the difference. That would be a man who wants to be in a long-term commitment, has most of what it takes to be in long-term commitment, but is not quite 100% there in terms of, I want to do this right now. He's 80% of the way there, which means that 20% can be him getting a strong sense of urgency based on a woman he connects with, a woman he doesn't want to lose, someone that he feels would be a, an ideal life partner and also something happened in his life maybe that makes him realize that he's not getting any younger and he maybe he wants a family, maybe he wants to stop feeling that sense of emptiness that comes from connecting with women who in a way that's not long term, right? Uh, it's fun for some guys but it doesn't for some guys, it's fun for just for a sh short amount of time and then it gets boring, right? So this is a guy who is almost there, can cross that bridge, can cross that gap. He's not going to do it in one day, but he definitely has the capacity to do it. That would be the second type of guy and different second type of availability in a man. Third one would be a guy who really wants to, but is unable to. He doesn't have either the skills or he doesn't have the life conditions. He doesn't have the logistical ability or the emotional ability to stay in a relationship. So it's like the kid in the candy store. He wants all the candy, but not necessarily able to purchase it because he doesn't make any money yet, right? So that's a metaphor to describe the type of man who will connect with you, show up very enthusiastically and then recognize midway, shit, I don't think I can do this. Or, oh my God, it's more challenging than I thought. Or by the way, uh, I haven't finalized my divorce or I want to do this, but my finances have been disarray for the last uh, five years and I need to get that stuff in order before I can really move forward or I, I want to but my life right now and my work is so challenging because I've made some decisions that make me need to put all my attention and focus on my work so he wants to but he can't. This type of man my dear is going to be very very challenging because it's not clear cut to lots of women that he's not able to do it so that's why, why it's challenging. The next one is even more challenging because this is a confused man. Confused man who sometimes wants it and sometimes pursues you strongly, says the right things, does the right things, but then disappears or plays hot and cold or sometimes he wants to do it and sometimes he's just reminiscing about his single days and wants to go back to that. It's hit or miss. And he, the, the reason why lots of women get connected with confused men is because this man are not stupid. They, they do just enough for you to be on the edge and not say goodbye, to stick with them. And sometimes they go over the top in terms of excitement and emotional connection with you. And sometimes they go over the top into disrespecting you, forgetting about you, ignoring you, uh, making sure that you know that he's not there at all. And that type of man, 
the guy who's wanting to but unable to and the guy who's confused are probably going to be the most challenging types of men to connect with because it's not clear cut. And I'll share with you in a moment why. The next type of man would be a guy who wants companionship, a guy who wants something that feels good but not commitment. And here is the big problem on this one. Lots of men, uh, the guy is clear with you. He says, I'm not looking for something serious. I, I'm not in a place to look for something serious. I don't want something serious. And many women hear, well, he will be once he gets to know me, or he doesn't know that he wants to be in a relationship yet, or maybe he does. Like they're looking at the glass half full situation on that one. And this is not the situation that you want to look at the glass half full. If the guy is telling you clear to your face, I'm not into a long-term relationship, if you want one, run the fuck away. Do not stay there. It's not gonna be fun for you. You'll, your mind will stop, start playing tricks on you, especially if you start feeling emotionally, physically, uh, sexually connected with him, and, and you'll want to believe that he's gonna turn around and he may never turn around. Last one will be a guy who is looking for something fun, lighthearted, maybe a one night stand, maybe a two night stand, nothing, I mean, passionate, but short lived. And he's even clear about it. He's not even pretending to want something deep. He's telling you, I just want, I'm not looking for anything right now. Let's have fun. Now, if you want just to have fun, if you're not looking for something serious, go at it if that's what you want. If you do want something serious, then you can clearly recognize, well, this guy just wants to have sex with me. I'm not gonna go for it. Uh, or maybe you can say, well, this guy just wants something that's not deep. Let's say goodbye to him or... So the first two and the last two are more clear cut. The ones in the middle are what cause so much pain and heartache for so many women. So I want you to be really aware of these different stages and also not make this fatal mistake that lots of women that I've connected with make, which is saying, well, obviously by default, I am at the highest category. I'm ready and available for long-term commitment and just the guy may not be. Many times I've connected with women who feel they are ready but not ready, who have some deep sense of pain or trauma regarding a previous relationship who are also in a, in, a, in a situation where they are very afraid of commitment and they keep choosing men who are not committing partly because subconsciously if the guy were to commit they would feel like I'm trapped or like I don't want to live with my, through what my mom lived which is very painful so I'm secretly choosing men who can't commit so that I don't have to do it so I just want to be, be aware that I'm not just I'm not this is not about bashing men there's different categories of availability in men there's different variables in availability in women. And if you haven't found what you want, I would urge you to give it a second thought and not just claim that you're ready and available. You may or may not be. And if you're not, then you need to do what it takes also for yourself so that you can connect with a guy who's ready and available. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful, my dear. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Thing number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Thing number two, subscribe to my channel and if you want click on the little bell so that you can get notified of new episodes whenever they come out third and most important of all if you want to go deeper on this subject and understand what it really takes to step into and attract the kind of man that you want i've created a master class for you that is absolutely free click on the first link on the description of this video and you'll start watching that class right away many of you are going to watch that class or these videos and say burn i i love the videos and they help me to understand here intellectually i am not yet able to land this to, to translate the intellectual to the emotional to where I can actually make this happen. If you find honestly that that's you and do not want to spend an extra three to five years attempting to find love without finding love or going through the hamster wheel of doing lots of things without no movement, running in circles, then you, I might be able to help you out. Uh, all you have to do is click on the second link on the description of this video and apply. It's a short application and if I feel I can help you, my assistant will reach out and schedule time to connect. Thank you so much for connecting with me, my dear. I challenge you, as always, to live a full and conscious life.